Today's the big day. It's Valentine's Day. But it's also the big day for the ultimate micro camper. This is the day we're going to try out the setup inside and find out whether it actually works. We've got a bit of work to do first. We've got to cut the back uh, where we templated it. We have to pop rivet the uh, eight inch panel on to the sliders. We've got to cut the slot for the back and uh, attach those hinges. We need to get the mattress uh, out of its cover and cut uh, one of them into the two small pieces. And once we have that all done, we'll be ready to give it a try. So hold on, here we go. So the blade I'm using is actually a metal working blade, but the main reason I'm using it, it's got very fine teeth. And so if you look, let's, let's look at our edge where we cut it. You see how that is? No chipping at all. So what we have is the final assembly of the back platform. We're embedding that hinge right in the center of the plywood. When we saw our little model, it showed why we had to do that. So I put the, uh, the spacers in, and now we'll just slide our hinge in there. comes up okay so now we have something that folds in both directions there's our platform that's our back counter and this comes up to make our couch or sofa and then all the way over to make the cover on top of the cushions. Looks pretty nice too. So anyway, that's the back, the back hinge. So yeah, well here it is, all assembled. See all the slats at the front. You can see we've got the hinge pop riveted on there. If you notice, I I put some magnets here to hold this in place. They weren't really that effective because there's a lot of weight to deal with. We've got our back hinge done. Insert it in there, profiles cut on the back. So pretty much ready to roll. Just got to get those cushions. And we can see that the front is... So there's, our, there's what it's going to look like. Open up the side. So there's the entire bed, but uh, we're going to need the cushions. Let's go take a look. Okay, there they are. Same ones you saw before. Let's take them. We're going to, let's take them in the studio. Luckily, uh,
Karen's not around. She's uh, at her live model drawing class. So uh, we're going to be able to work in a clean space. This way. Mmm, the nice smell of fresh foam. Pretty nice looking foam. Good high density. Rip that cover all apart. Pretty straightforward and restitch it. We'll save that for later. But uh, what we have to do is cut this in half. Okay, so let's see how big this is. So, so we just have to roughly cut it. Oh. Okay, we got our, uh, our two pieces. Let's take those back in the shop. Grab the other cushions. Okay, here's the other two. Et voilà. Oh, hey, hey, oh, you're home. Oh, good. So, what's going on? Well, I, uh, I, I had to work on the mattress. Oh. So, I needed a clean spot here. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need your help. I, I, I got the bed all, all ready to go. Uh -huh. So, uh, can you come and uh, give me a, can you come and give me a hand to put it in the element? Okay. There she is. Okay, let's give her a try.
And now let's just push it straight back. That's good. Okay. Now we can unfold it. Lift that part up. So that is, that's kind of in the couch mode there. Yeah. I'm going to give it a try, see. We have to adjust the angle of it, but yeah, I think okay. Yeah. Just pull her ahead a bit. That's it. Okay. Now take that cushion away, please, and just put it on top of the other one. Okay. Okay, so what we're looking at now, that is kitchen mode, right? Kitchen mode. Let's see what it looks like tonight. So I could be laying on here while you're making dinner. And so that's going to come back further. If we push that back, do you see the, the space there? Yeah. Just try pushing it back uh, about three inches. Oh. Further? No, it's a little too tight, but just needs to be trimmed a bit. But. Okay. Okay, so there's your, uh, your counter. Can you flip it up and all the way over now? Yeah, like that. Okay. And what so, kind of mode is that? Well, that gives us all the space here to get into all your, your storage back here. And it also means that you can stand on there and go out the moonroof. Okay, so it's a, a stepping spot. Okay. Okay. And then from this side, it ends up being like a workspace. So you could have things on there. I'm trying to pull out, uh, can you pull out the uh, sliders underneath? No, under, yeah. So pull that out. All right. Can and the you... other one? Yep. Whoops. Oh. That's it, okay. That will have legs. It's going to go further ahead because this whole thing has to slide another eight inches. Oh. It needs a little bit of work to smooth it out. That cushion goes in the back. Okay. And that goes all the way back here like that. Okay. Get the other two phones? Yeah. Hey, this is working out. I think this is going to work out. So they're square. It doesn't matter which way they go. Okay. And they go in like that. They're slightly in from the outside. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's it. Okay. Now. And that's a 72 inch bed there. It's like a double bed. Now there is one other thing. We're going to have legs at the front here. And uh, those legs are going to hook into these seat tracks. They'll be going straight down there. You want to put it in the chaise mode? Uh, we could put it in chaise mode, yeah. Okay, that's... Mode. That's chaise mode, and you can take that other cushion and put it on the other side, back there in the corner. Yep. Okay. And if it was, if it was in sofa mode, you'd be able to rest right there. Okay. Now the other thing that I want to show you is something else, because if you are tall, We pull that out to there, okay? And what you do is you put your, your cushion or your pillow under here to support that and you have all this extra room at the front. 
It's going to work. Yep. It's going to work. No, I think it will. Okay. That is our little home. Our home to be. Yeah, our so, home away from home. We'll be hitting the road there. <laughs>